Hey, it's Corbett Lunsford from the Building Performance Workshop. If you're doing airflow measurements, first of all, you want them to be accurate, right? Second of all, we're not really measuring airflow. Most of the time, we're measuring pressure through hoses with high-tech equipment uh, that generally is going to be what's called a manometer. Now, these hoses and manometers are uh, subject to inaccuracy. A manometer needs to be recalibrated, and these are the new smart gauges from Retrotech. They only need to be recalibrated every five years. That's a good thing. I can check them myself just to make sure that they're kind of in the neighborhood. If I've got several of them, I can link them together and see if they're reading the same thing. But the thing that we don't think about a lot is the fact that we're using hoses. And hoses, if you have cats like I do, are very attractive to chew on. Um, they also end up being stepped on on construction sites, and all kinds of stuff happens to them. So you want to double check that your hoses are not getting you inaccurate results. Uh, in order to do that, I'm going to run you through a real quick field calibration. And actually, what we've decided at Green Dream Group is that we're just going to do this every single time we're about to run a test. There is nothing quite like coming back from a blower door or a duct tightness test where you got a really big number. It's a very leaky system. And you come back into the office and you realize, there's a hole in my hose. That's a terrible feeling. So here's what we're going to do. I have two manometers set up, and I've got one hose that has a hole in it and one hose that does not. You'll see the difference here. So all I have to do is take the same tap on both A and B channels, and I'm going to connect them to the same exact hose. Now you can see by what's happening on my screens that channel A and channel B should be reading exactly the same number. What you'll notice, though, is that one of my manometers is going down, and one of my manometers is not. The hose that is losing pressure rapidly is the one that obviously has a hole in it. Now, you don't need the Retrotech Smart Gauge in order to do this. You can do this with any manometer or even Magnahelic gauges, if that's what you use. All you have to do is just plug it into the input tap or the reference tap of both A channel and B channel, same hose. Now, the next step in the field uh, and if you've got extra hoses, great, just go ahead and abandon this hose, move on to the next one. When you come back to the office, you want to find out where the hole is. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug this hose, and I'm going to run it through my hands. So I'm going to start at one end, and I'm simply going to start feeling uh, along the, the length of it. Now what I'll find when I reach the other end of this hose is that somebody took a uh, sharp something and stuck it in there. That was me. Uh, so that I can make this video, but it happens all the time. So when you do find the hole, just take my scissors, and I'm just going to trim it right off. And now I can toss this, and I've got an intact hose. I'm then going to recheck it to make sure that it is showing up like this one, and we're all set to go. This is something that we're going to do in the field every single job. I hope that you use it too. I'm Corbett Lunsford. This is a Building Performance Workshop. Tune in next time.